start off with Christmas Day Showdown. The New Orleans Saints versus the Minnesota Vikings. Both teams lost last week in week 15. New Orleans lost to Kansas City by three points and Minnesota lost to Chicago by six points. I will give the win to New Orleans Saints. I'll tell you why. I like New Orleans better and the New Orleans Saints, Drew Brees, um, Alvin Kamara, especially with his rushing, and Dalvin Cook, Dalvin, Cook, Dalvin Cook and Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson combined could make this game close. But overall, I think the Brees and the Saints are a better team and they'll win this match. Next up, we have the Saturday doubleheader. We have, starting off with Brady and the Bucks, comes to meet Stafford and the Lions. So I'm going to give the win to Brady, old, old time Patriots player, so 20 years with the Pats. So Brady actually managed to make a big comeback against the Falcons. So Brady and the Bucks made a big comeback, losing, being down 17-0 in the first half. Look, Falcons up here, Brady's down here. Brady and the Bucks are down here. Look, suddenly it, when the game was over, this was the score. This up here, 31, down here, 27. The Bucks win. Big comeback here. As on the Lions side, oh, actually, um, let me say one more thing about the Bucks. Antonio Brown got his first big game with a nice deep shot by Brady, caught by Brown. And Antonio Brown has been doing good for the Patriots as well. Rob Gronkowski got like a, a cool catch, like when there's a defender, he was like this and then caught it like that. And also Mike Evans, who was great too. Mike Evans catching some good passes, like a pass like that throw my Brady. Uh, I have to talk about Detroit a bit more. So Detroit Lions to Stafford and the Lions lost to the Titans by 21 points, 46 to 25. So sad game for the Lions. Um, I didn't watch it so I don't know that much about it, but I know that Lions, Matthew Stafford probably do a bit better. And yeah, so I'm gonna give the win to the Bucks. Saturday doubleheader, first team wins is the Bucks. Next up, guys, we have the Cardinals versus the 49ers. Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins combined versus Nick Mullins and the 49ers. This is going to be an interesting game. Both teams came out different from week 15. The Cardinals beat the um, Eagles uh, 33 to 26 or 27, I forget. Um, and uh, 49ers lost 41 to 33. So look what they had. They went for an onside kick and CD Lamb of the Cowboys got it. And then he ran for the touchdown. But then Mullins just got like a fun thing. He got he threw a Hail Mary and then it was caught at some. But the game still didn't change. It was ended 33 to 41. Yeah, it was a really fun game to watch. Both games were really fun, but I didn't get to watch the Cardinals game. I got to watch like the fourth quarter, uh, fourth a bit of third quarter, I think, of uh, the Cowboys for Niners. It was really interesting. So I really think that um, the 49ers, their season's over, impossible for them to go the playoffs. But the 49ers are off, but the um, Cardinals, I think, still have a path to victory. Okay, I'm giving the win to Cardinals. So, next up, we have the Las Vegas Raiders facing on the Miami Dolphins. So, um, last game, the Raiders lost to the Chargers by three points on um, 30 to 27. It was a crazy game. Um, I watched a lot of the game. I didn't get to finish the whole game, but I watched it besides school. Okay, so guys, you know, um, the Raiders, uh, Lost to the Chargers, but the Dolphins losing six to zero against the Pats beat the Pats ten points, twenty two to twelve. Why no Pats? They lost the playoff spot for the first time since two thousand and eight. So that's um, sad for me because I'm a Pats fan. Um. So I'm gonna give Miami the win because the Dolphins are a pretty good team. So the Dolphins are pretty good because um, Tua Tagovailoa changed their season around. Started off one and three, and boop, now they're really good now in the wild card contention. 
contending place. So that was a really great game to watch. You guys should have watched that game. So it was like a twisting table game. Started with Patriots 3-0, then 6-0 Patriots, then Dolphins 7-6, then Patriots 9-7, then Miami went for two points. Like, yeah, it just kept on moving. And the Patriots didn't score a single touchdown, only field goals. Yeah, let's get off that topic. And on the Raiders side, Carr got a groin injury. Groin injury. Um, so Marcus Mariota came in, and he did great. Uh, he threw like a long deep one to Waller like that. So, but it was still not enough to beat Justin Herbert and the Chargers. So I'm gonna give the win to Miami. Next up, guys, we have starting the Sunday football. We have the Chiefs against the Falcons. So the Kansas City Chiefs, one loss in the season. Falcons came after um, a not so great loss on the Bucks. So leading 17-0 Matt Ryan's team. Look, okay, look at this. 17-0 up here, okay? And now look, look what just happened when it turned. Um, then it became 24-7, and then Brady scored a touchdown for Bucks, and then 24-7, and then Brady kept on moving, ended up 31-27. Ah, that was a very crazy game. The Chiefs, on the other hand, Tyree Kill catching some passes, um, um, Kelsey catching some passes, Hardman doing some good returns, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna obviously give the win to the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs, especially our great team with Mahomes, have um, the defending MVP and the Mahomes. So yeah, that's why I really hope the Chiefs will win this game. I want the underdogs to win, the Falcons to win, but I think the Chiefs will take the game over. Next up, we have the Indianapolis Colts facing off the Pittsburgh Steelers. Roethlisberger shot, made his team 11-0. Oh my God, this is embarrassing for them. St okay, look, way up there, 11 and 0, 11 and 1, okay? 11 and 2, okay? 11 and 3. First, lost to the Washington football team, then lost to the Bills, and lost to the Bengals. <laughs> Bengals, they're just playing free free in the Bengals since they were already lost to players. But, so, anyways, the, um, Indianapolis should get the win this thing. Um, Roethlisberger isn't um, doing this game. I have to give a small, teeny weeny win for Indianapolis. Um, so yeah, Indianapolis will win this game, is my prediction. Next up, guys, we have the Chicago Bears versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> okay, so I really think the Bears will demolish the bad Jaguars. The Jaguars won win against the Colts in the first in week one, started one and zero in the week one, and thirteen straight losses, thirteen straight L's for the season. So <laughs> Jacksonville isn't having its best season yet. And on the other hand, Chicago started a five and one, beat the Bucks somehow by one point. And it was um, a really good day watching them beat the Bucks. Um, so it was really um, fun watching Chicago's journey to get to seven and seven. I'm obviously gonna give a big demolishing win to the um, Bears. Next up, we have the Houston Texans versus the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm gonna give Houston a win. Um, Texans, great team, Deshaun Watson. Um, Fuller, great. On the Bengals side, beating Pittsburgh on Monday Night Football. Um, Pittsburgh started 11-0, good team. Now they're 11-3, not that great. Tied with the Packers from the NFC. Um, I, it's sensible for people to pick the Bengals since they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers so by 10 points. So I'm not gonna go with the Bengals. I think Deshaun Watson and the Texans are a better overall team. So, congratulations, Deshaun Watson and the Texans are going to beat the Bengals, in my prediction. Next up, we have the Baltimore Ravens versus the one and only New York Giants. I'm a giant. 
Um, Daniel Jones doing pretty good with the Giants, helping manage the Giants still play off victory road. So, um, on the Baltimore side, started off, uh, they started off 2-0, lost a few games, but they're, they're still good in the playoff tracks. But in third place in the Pittsburgh division, uh, with the Cleveland in a second and the um, Bengals in fourth. So it was a really interesting start seeing the Baltimore Ravens in second at first and then moving down to third. So Ravens still have a big play of hopes of getting the wild card at least. So I really think the Ravens will beat the Giants. Daniel Jones and the Giants will make it close, but I think overall the Ravens will win. And the Ravens are overall better team. So first, next up, we have the Carolina Panthers. Bridgewater, DJ Moore, Christian McCaffrey, and Curtis Samuels facing on the one and only Washington football team. Alex Smith, Antonio Gibson, great players. So, giving Washington a big win over the Carolina Panthers. Washington football team, an overall great team. So, Washington, if Alex Smith is there, I still might give the Washington football team a win, but it's going to be a bit more skinny win. Uh, but if Alex Smith is there, a big win for them. So, next up we have the one and only Cleveland Browns, Mayfield Beckham. Jarvis Landry, Nick Chubb. Obviously, big, big win for the Browns. So, Jets, um, I don't think, I think the season's definitely over. No way to get making the playoffs is impossible. So, obviously, hooray, Browns, you win. So, sad Jets, you lost again. Next up, we have the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Dallas Cowboys. Giving the win to Philadelphia, Jalen Hurts, Miles Sanders, a uh, really good combination. So, on the Dallas side, um, Andy Dalton, um, Tony Pollard, uh, the running back um, who was replaced uh, with Ezekiel because of his injury. So, Tony, Tony Pollard actually did some good rushing. That's what I saw the, in the game. So, um, that game was interesting, but the Cowboys still won that game against the 49ers, but Eagles will win this game with Jalen Hurts help. Next up, guys, we have the one and only Los Angeles Chargers versus the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos, Drew Locke, um, Vaughn Miller versus the Los Angeles Chargers, Joey Bosa, and Justin Herbert. So I'm going to give the Los Angeles Chargers a win. Um, Herbert doing some good passes, um, Bosa doing some good defense. So the Chargers um, are a good team too, but the Broncos are also a great team. The Chargers are better of a better overall team. So next up, we have my, my favorite prediction of these all. The New England Patriots, my favorite team. Let's go New England versus the Buffalo Bills. I am charging Buffalo Bill. So Buffalo is going to get this one. Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, two good matchup. Combined, Patriots, they lost this game. Um, Newton, oh no, I can say he's okay. Not scoring any TDs. Um, the whole team not scoring any TDs. Folk only got us all six, all four field goals for us last game against the Dolphins. Speaking about the Buffalo Bills and the Patriots, let's get back to that topic. The Buffalo Bills, um, Josh Allen, pretty good. Stephon Diggs, pretty good. So I don't think the Patriots stand much of a chance against the Buffalo Bills. This game is on Monday Night Football game, um, 8-15. Next up, we have the 8-20 game on Sundays, Sunday Night Football. It's the interesting game too. The Tennessee Titans versus the Green Bay Packers. Packers, I'm gonna give them the win. Um, Tannehill um, did great, very great. Tannehill's a really great player. Same with Derrick Henry, he could always, almost be a Hall of Famer right now. So AJ Brown cut, catching some recent one-hand catches. Uh, but the Packers, Rodgers, great team. So I'm obviously gonna give the win to Packers. 11-3 versus 10-4, 11-3 should win. Next 
Next up, we have the Seattle Seahawks versus the Los Angeles Rams. Cooper Cup, Jared Goff, and Ken Akers. Robert Woods versus the Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks, um, Wilson there, there's Metcalf there. Two great, great, great players. And on the Rams side, there is Goff there, Woods is there, um, Cup is there. Um, so those are some great players for the Rams side. Rams, overall better team because uh, they um, had an embarrassing loss against the Jets, 0-13. So I think the uh, Rams beat the Seahawks once. I think they can beat it again. Okay, guys, that's all for today. That's all for week 16 predictions. I hope my predictions are right. If they were all right, hooray for me. This is going to be a really exciting week with ups and downs of the National Football League, NFL. And since I have school holidays for Christmas, I can watch almost every single game. Hooray, hooray, hooray! Football!